Hello guys, I'm going to, in this video I'm going to be doing a speed test between the iPad mini and the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. The price differences are very different, this costs a lot more than the Kindle Fire. So let's see if the money's, if it's worth the money, let's search a website, let's go for bbc.co.uk, bbc, bbc.co.uk. Co.uk. Dot co. Okay, you see they both got the thing up. Just let that focus. And there too. So let's go ahead and load them. And then we'll actually go. Okay, so they both loaded extremely fast. So now let's go into the website. Three, two, one both click at the same time you see the iPad mini oh thought the iPad mini would beat it but look the actual Kindle has beaten it they're both on the exact same Wi-Fi speed and the wife uh, and the Kindle Fire HD has beaten it which is surprising so now let's go on a YouTube video bear with me YouTube sorry dot co dot uk just put dot co dot uk youtube okay so i didn't see you can judge which one loaded youtube faster let's just go for a video now so search um oh let's go for gangnam style gangnam Style. Stupid. Re I'm a bit of an idiot. Didn't put the space. Style. Search that already. And we'll do. We see. You see here. Came up with the results. So, yep, they've both loaded. Sorry if there's focusing ish issues. And sorry about the fact it doesn't all fit in completely. I don't have a big enough bipod. I work on the presentation of my videos. So let's go three, two, one, both the exact same video. And that one is loaded faster. But this one starts, you have to press play on this one. So that was a bit of an unfair thing. So let's pause it at zero. Oops. Let's start this. Okay, they're both on zero. This is a bit stupid. So I can tell you already that the, sc the screen difference. Just let me turn this down. Still getting used to the buttons because I use loads of different devices. So the quality of the screen is, I promise you, better on this. You wouldn't believe it. Just let me zoom in. It's better than the iPad, but the brightness isn't the same. Actually, I think they're both around the same. The screen is slightly bigger on the iPad mini, but that's just screen difference, which isn't... which. You'll pick, you'll pick what you want, that will go into account too. So now let's close both of these. Home, home. Now, as I'm doing, I'm not actually only going to do a speed test. This is stupid. Let Changing it midway. Let me just talk about them together. This will be iPad mini versus Kindle Fire HD. So in general, the, la the weight of them is practically the same the design on this you can see the borders of the Kindle Fire HD the border is this thick try and keep it that size compared to the iPad mini look that's the Kindle here the iPad mini is tiny so the screen is definitely big on the iPad mini overall the gaming quality I would show you I have played games but I'm on a different account now 
but the gaming quality is the same on both you wouldn't believe that either the graphics are great on the kindle fire hd and they're great on the apple mini now overall user experience I do not like what this is running. I don't like the way Kindle have done it, where you have to have an account and all that crap where you where you live. I if I had to pick one operating system to put on both, it'd be Android, but none of them are. But I have to say the operating system on the iPad Mini I prefer. It's a lot easier. You see all this here, swiping through the web up here. I'll just you see that I don't like that. There's no real home page. It does have the swipe down thing here, which is nice. I like that. That's one of my favorite things because it is on Android. Here on the Apple, I don't like that. It's. I think it looks pretty ugly. Um, overall in speed, they're around the same. I would say the app, in my experience, I'm not being biased at all, guys. This has beaten it on web browsing, but the iPad mini has one on gaming. YouTube, the exact same. Um, loading, now let's actually, might as well show you what else I can do. Let's load up something that requires a lot of pictures. So we'll go on Google. Sorry, that lags a bit. It's not always like that. Google.com, doesn't matter, they're both. One's UK, one's... One's Luxembourg, because that's where I live. So let's go search hello. Just easy thing to write. Hello. Return to search. Search for search on the iPad. Now let's go images. Just zoom in. See, it is pinched to zoom. Very fast, too. Here it's pinched to zoom too. I think it flows a lot better on the iPad to be honest. So yeah, let's three, two, one. Okay, as you can see, I'm not lying. They load fast on the Kindle, but the way it's done is here it's pages, and here it's one long thing. But the first image is definitely loaded on the Kindle Fire HD. So this is actually quite surprising considering the price range. You are kind of paying for the name here, Apple, iPad. Overall, the iPad mini is my favorite Apple product. Beats the iPhone 5 and all the other products put together. It's just so good. You wonder why would anyone get an iPad mini when you have it. You'll see why. The Kindle Fire, I don't like the way it's run, the operating system. But the actual video... Uh, sorry, the actual screen and everything is just what it says. You're getting what you, you're paying for what you, you know, what they advertise a lot, their HD screen. It's very fast too. The gaming, it's annoying to get apps on it. It's quite difficult. Um, the way there's not really, well, in my eyes, it's not really a home button is annoying. Books, reading books here on this, you read, oh God, what's it called again? ebooks here you read kindle books obviously the reading experience on the kindle which is one of their main selling points is a lot better than the ipad but you're not going to buy an ipad for reading and the kindle most people do um as i said weight the weight for them is around the same but this is the screen's a lot bigger and the actual things bigger so for that i'd get the ipad for the price definitely the kindle fire it's worth the price if you get all the apps and everything. It's a great product. If I had both piece of money and had the choice to, and I could choose, not going to lie, I'd pick the iPad mini. But it depends. For a beginner, definitely the Kindle Fire, even though the way it's run is different. That's because I've had loads of different operating systems in my time so it's com it's a bit weird for me but for beginners it'll be the first thing so they'll pick it up um so yeah basically you see here you have the swipe bar here for music books games here you just have the usual os swiping and stuff like that um what else is there to say about it really um that's basically it if you have any questions, uh, well, actually, my overall conclusion is 
The Kindle Fire HD is definitely not a letdown. Very, very good product. If I was low on cash, I wouldn't wait to save up for the i iPad. I would get the Kindle Fire if I, because I'm a bit, you know, I don't like waiting. Um, if I had enough cash in one moment, I'd get the iPad. But if you're considering getting the Kindle Fire HD, get it. It's such a great product. Best thing Kindle have made. Great reading experience and everything. The iPad Mini is the best Apple product. I promise you if you buy it and you don't like it, I will give you your money back. I will. So that's basically it. Comment, subscribe, tell me I can improve my video. Sorry about the red bit there. I'm working on a big cut white cardboard. I'm currently doing a giveaway, so check that out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Peace out.